Hi guys, it's Jo here from It's The J Life and as you can see I've got my morning coffee, it's currently Saturday, I'm chilling out in my little room and I've just put my makeup on and put some washing through and I thought I would record for you just a little B&M haul that me and Jasmine got yesterday. She might make an appearance but she's being a teenager in the body of a nine-year-old at the moment so <laughs> bear that in mind so i have got it in my mns percy pig uh reusable bag which i love <laughs> i actually walked in the shop and there was no hand baskets yesterday so i would actually just use that and put all my bits in and it was so much easier than carrying a hand basket around i mean i don't know if you're supposed to do that in shops but what you're supposed to do because there was no hand basket and I didn't want a trolley. In fact, I didn't have a pound to put in the trolley. Here she is. Sure, come and show everybody. Come and stand around here. You'll be in there. Look, it says, what, show everybody what your, what your t-shirt says. It's a baby Yoda. And it says, I woke up like this. And she literally did wake up like that. Mm. <laughs> Are you okay? Mm. So, first up we got these as we walked into the shop as you can see i opened them up last night and started eating them but this bag doesn't look big but it's a 600 gram bag and it is brimmed full of sweets you've got laces blue bottles i love these uh, blue and pink bottles they're my favorite sweet these ones aren't as fizzy as like my favourite sweet, they're like bubble gum, aren't they? And they're really, really um, delicious. But it's got all sorts of different sugary flavoured sweets in there, and it's really more a treat on a night time. Mm -hmm. Next up, we have got these, which is a variety pack of cereals, which I mentioned on my other channel before I closed it down um, a little while ago and went looking for this, didn't we? But we couldn't find it in the shops. Well, we found it, breakfast cereal pack, and they're American cereals, so you've got, uh, what have we got? We've got Lucky Charms, Honey Nut Cheerios, which mm. I think we can get in this country, to be fair, uh, Cinnamon Toast, Golden, Golden Grahams, <laughs> that's a funny name for a cereal, isn't it? Cocoa Puffs, but not Cocoa Puffs that I don't think that we know. Another Cheerios, normal Cheerios. Tricks and Frosted Cheerios. I think, um... Most of them we have in this country, but I've tried not many of them. No. I think there was another one that I'd seen online that had like Captain Crunch and a few more like American American cereals. Um, but this was the only one that they had in the store. So we thought we'd get it. I mean, it wasn't the cheapest. It was £3.99. But you will generally pay that for the Kellogg's variety pack in this country. So, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I used to always have Lucky Charms when I was a kid. They came across from America into this country years and years ago. And I used to have them. And I know they're not the best for you, but the cereal. They're better than other things, aren't they? Right, pick up. What else did we pick up? We got, oh, <laughs> you're gonna tell everybody what they are. Slush puppy ice pops. Slush puppy ice pops. So we're gonna put them in the freezer. Another reason why we wanted to um, get this recorded so we can get them in the freezer. Got red cherry, lemon and lime, strawberry, and blue raspberry there. Amazing. Jasmine seen this and we picked this up because we've not tried one before and you like millions don't mm. you as, as general for a sweet and we thought that that might be a little bit like that Laffy Taffy but mm. it feels like the little mini and bottles to be fair all on one long rope. Mm. It says only 100 calories, stubble gum flavour, soft chewy gum rope. Oh god is it gum? Mm. Oh didn't realise that. Oh well, it's about 89 pence anyway. I didn't realise it was it's bubble oh, strawberry and bubblegum flavour. Chewy sweets. Coated strawberry flavour jelly candy rope. I don't think it's bubblegum. I think it's just bubblegum flavour. Well, if it has, I've actually tried one of those before and I ate the whole thing. Okay, well you can try it. If you chew it and it all forms, it, don't swallow it basically. 
you'll know, you just know, don't you, and you put bubble gum in your mouth. Right. Then, Jasmine, as everybody knows, we've done reviews on it before in the past, has a slush puppy machine that she got off Santa Claus for Christmas. Mm -hmm. And we've we used all of the syrup that came with no, it you pretty won't. quickly. You go through the bottles I'm pretty, pretty quickly. Sure you can make a milkshake. Oh yeah, slushy a milkshake. Oh, we'll have to. Mm, we'll have to Google that. I guess you just put. How would you do that? Anyway, um. But they also say it's slushy. So these on Amazon are around about $12.99 to $14.99 and upwards, which is for, you do see them sometimes cheaper and you think, oh, that's good. And then you look at the sizes and you're like, no, that's actually not good. I don't know what the size these are, but the, the biggish bottles. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, there we go. Oh, no. Oh, there's the thing to make a... Total one litre, it says. So there's oh, one litre in it here. So it says, use with your slush puppy milkshake machine to make wonderful milkshakes. Oh, you know, yesterday yeah. when I said to you, these were near to make, and I said, what's that? Oh, yeah, it was a milkshake machine. It was a milkshake machine. I want to try one of those. Oh, we might have to go back in and look at how much the milkshake machine is. Mm. Right, so we've got a slush puppy machine for a slush puppy maker. Mm. And you, you're not a massive milkshake -y. I actually, last time I had that McDonald's milkshake, I actually sort of liked it. Mm. But it's just certain flavours I don't like. Yeah. But anyway, we have got the slush. So this now says it makes slushy and milkshake. But anyway, I digress. It was £8 and on Amazon it's about £14.99 for the same two. And you've got your general blue raspberry and your strawberry flavour, haven't you? So that's that. Mummy picked this up. I picked this up, which is a Kit Kat. I've no, I don't have the faintest idea what it is, but it says Kit Kat, Kit Kat Zebra. Oh, it's dark and white chocolate. <laughs> don't like dark chocolate. But I like zebras, and that's why I picked it up. I should have really read the front. I might just keep it because I just like the fact that it's yeah, zebra just, just packaging. I might just keep it on the side because I don't think I would probably like it because I don't like dark chocolate. Ah, uh, something I picked up. <sighs> I have no idea why I let Jasmine pick this up because it was £2.99 so it was nearly £3 which is like a big bar of chocolate to be fair and she absolutely loves milk and she loves Oreos but it's just been Easter and she really didn't probably need chocolate did you? Yes I do. Daddy said, why did you let her get that? And I was like, Because mm. I was allowed out and I went into a shop and I never go into shops these days. Mm. So when I go in, I'm like, oh, yeah, go on then. <laughs> and then, um, just trying to just think of some different things that are like sweets, but are a little bit better for children. And these fruit winders seem to get mentioned on a lot of reviews. And Jasmine's been then with the raisins and all of that. You're a little bit old for raisins and all of that right now. So um, just think to put in a packed lunchbox because you're not allowed to obviously chocolate and sweets and all that kind of thing. But this is uh, Kellogg's Fruit Winders. All natural colours and flavours. Five rolls and these are the double rolls with apple and strawberry in them. So you said that you quite fancied them and they're only 67 calories per roll so um, they don't say that you know they don't seem to be full of sugars like or anything really really bad so yeah so we picked up those I don't think I like these but I'm mad I've got jasmine knees just um well at first I thought I'd put them in a packed lunchbox but then I've realised they're nuts and you are a nut free school so I can't do that but then I just thought you know the odd morning when you just nip when you're in a hurry with school um I thought she might the Nutella biscuits basically mm -hmm. um and I've never seen them before so I thought well they're always handy you know grab one of those and jump in the car we've got to drive Jasmine to school so and sit in traffic sometimes. Jasmine then picked up. Me. She absolutely loves nerds, but generally find 
half eaten packets of them around the house but they're the strawberry and watermelon flavour which I would have picked as well strawberry and watermelon I love watermelon I love I like watermelon as well do you mm -hmm. do you actually like watermelon yeah I had one that grandma did really you liked it. oh good I love watermelon I'm just so lazy you know if it's all cut up for me like I'll eat it till the cows come home but if it's not then I just can't really be bothered is that everything then is that everything that we got yeah so just a little haul there for you guys I also got two bottles of wine but one of those went what well one and a bit of them went walk about yesterday <laughs> you know Friday night in there so yes we also popped to the pet store and got Cerberus our crusty gecko here some uh, jelly pots to try these are generally what you feed like live food and um, so generally um, you'll put these like jelly pots in and stuff but then fruit eating geckos like ja what, like Jasmine is <laughs> am I a gecko? am I a gecko? no fruit Gecko to you. <laughs> You're just small. <laughs> no, uh, so fruit eating geckos like Cerberus is, is um you can also eat these as well. So they're um they're quite diverse. And you can generally buy them in Johnny's pet store or another pet Wait, store's like fifty pence mommy. on a pound. What happens if we um got Cerberus a piece of watermelon? Yeah, well you can. You can put fresh fruit in there as because, well. You can put like um, mango in there. And because he likes You just need to make sure they're mashed up. Um, I think he likes watermelon pangea. He does love, absolutely love watermelon, watermelon pangea, doesn't he? He's a bit of a picky gecko. So we got him a banana one. I'm gonna this, see the problem with geckos is, uh, crested geckos is, they eat so little, um, you generally sometimes don't even realise that he will have eaten anything. So we've got the banana one in there and uh, we'll monitor it over a couple of days. I need to go do some Googling actually to find he out how long you can actually leave these in the <gasps> cage. Mommy, we've wow. got a surprise. Has he been? Oh, look, yes, show the camera. Okay. He's sort of been trying to eat it. He's definitely had a lick on that, hasn't he? Yeah. Definitely. Oh, well, that's good. That's what I mean. You can barely, barely see if they've um, if they've touched the food sometimes. Um, Crested gecko. Yes. So is he on his leaf? Is he? Yeah. <laughs> So this is Cerberus and his tail. He's currently nose down. Yeah. Asleep. So there's Cerberus, he's currently nose down on his leaf. And you can see the Jurassic Park thing that, <laughs> that Jasmine got him for Christmas in there as well. So we'll leave him to have a little sleep, won't we? So the battery for this camera is literally about to die. So I will bid you farewell and I will see you in our next video. If you have enjoyed this, do give it a big thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you are not already subscribed and we'll see you next time. Bye.